Hi, my name is Matthew Scott from SHS International and in part of our drive to increase awareness of metabolic diseases, I've decided to speak to Marguerite today to give us some information on how the diseases are actually found in children. Marguerite, can you tell us how they're first spotted? Um, well, generally um, metabolic diseases are actually picked up um, during the first year of life. Right. Um, for many of the disorders, now with in the, the increasing in screening, um, they actually picked up within the first few weeks of life. Um, and this generally means that a child will have to have bloods taken at birth. And I think um, the one that we know of is um, the Guthrie test um, or the heel prick test. Right, and yeah. This is also referred to for PKU, where blood is taken from the child and then sent off to lab labs um, and then tested, obviously. And this is a standard test, all children born in, yeah, born that's in the UK. Right. I mean, is yeah, it all about in the worldwide? UK. And it's, it's quite well re recognised worldwide, right. actually, the heel prick test, because it's so simple. Now, there's new advances in newborn screening. Um, this TMS, which is tandem mass spectrometry, and that's a, a further testing technique where you can actually screen for a wider section of, of metabolic disorders. So um, there are actually a few countries that have this in place, um, which obviously increases the amount of children that's actually picked up during the first year of life or even, you know, in the first few weeks of life with a metabolic disorder. And that puts them at, at, at an advantage because they can obviously be treated very quickly. Right. But the sooner the sooner it's found, the better. That's really. right, yeah. The, the quicker a child's be picked up um, with a metabolic disorder, the better for the outcome of the child um, and better for the long-term long outcomes as well. Um, so that's sort of newborn screening in a, in a nutshell. There's constant drives, obviously, to actually get more countries to bring newborn screening into place. There are many countries still in the world that, that doesn't have this in place, and which obviously affects the children negatively. Obviously. Um, there are certain countries in the Middle East and Africa, for instance, that do not even have the heel prick test in place as right. such. Um, there's a real ethical issue surrounding newborn screening. Um, typically there's a, there's a set of guidelines and criteria that needs to be followed and for a country to actually to instigate newborn screening they also have to have treatment in place. Therefore there has to be government funding for, a, for the treatment of a specific condition. Otherwise it would be perceived as unethical right. for them to screen and not being able to treat. Um, so that's kind of newborn screening in a little bit more of a nutshell. Right, brilliant. Well, again, thank you for, for some useful information that I hope everybody out there uh, can, can appreciate. Thank Thanks you. for joining us today. Thanks a lot, Marguerite.